Hi, this is Dr. Bhargava and in this short video I'm going to review physiologic distribution of the radiopharmaceuticals on various kinds of PET CT scans. So these are the scans we are going to review starting with a FDG PET CT, then sodium fluoride PET CT followed by dorotate PET CT, a PSMA PET CT and then the latest study in our arsenal the FAPI PET or FAPI PET CT. All right, let's get started. This is our first whole body image from a FDG PET CT scan, and we are looking at physiologic distribution of the tracer, intense activity in the brain, some activity in the extraocular muscles, vocal cords, tonsils, faint activity in the liver, spleen, and excretion from the kidneys into the bladder. So. The radiopharmaceutical name is F18 fluorodeoxyglucose. The half-life of F18 is 110 minutes. FDG is taken up by glucose metabolism. We inject about 10 to 15 millicuries intravenously, wait for about 60 minutes, and then we scan the patient. We see intense activity in the brain, excretion from the kidneys, faint activity in the liver and spleen. Spleen is always or normally less intense than the liver, and there may be some activity in the muscles, myocardium, and bowel. That is very variable. False positives is when we see focal hypermetabolism, but there is no cancer. That can be seen when there is inflammation or infection. False negatives is when there is cancer, but we don't see focal hypermetabolism. That's when the tumor is too small, less than one centimeter in size, or it's a low-grade malignancy. This is our next whole body image, F18 sodium fluoride. Uh, we see uptake in the bones and excretion from the kidneys into the urinary bladder. There may be faint soft tissue activity in, in these patients. The name of the radiopharmaceutical is F18 sodium fluoride. Again, the half-life of F18 is 110 minutes. The mechanism of uptake is just like technetium 99M MDP or HDP, which is osteoblastic activity. We inject 10 to 15 millicuries intravenously, wait for about 60 minutes, and then do the acquisition. False positives is when there is focal increased uptake, but there is no metastatic disease. This can happen with benign bone tumors, degenerative bone disease, and sometimes renal excretion, such as focal activity in the distal ureter, um, can mimic a bone lesion um, in, such pa in these patients. False negatives is when there is metastatic disease, but we don't see focal increased uptake. That's when there are lytic lesions. The malignancies that lead to lytic lesions include renal cell carcinoma, thyroid carcinoma, um, and also cancers which have mixed lytic and blastic metastases such as lung and breast cancer, and also multiple myeloma. This is our next study, gallium 68 dorotate. Here we are looking at physiologic distribution of the tracer in a normal uh, study. We see focal uptake in the pituitary, faint uptake in the thyroid, uptake in the liver and in the spleen. Spleen is normally more intense than the liver, excretion from the kidneys into the bladder and very variable small and large bowel activity. The tracer or the radiopharmaceutical here is gallium 68 labeled dorotate. Gallium 68 has a half-life of 68 minutes. About five millicuries is injected intravenously. We wait for an hour. The mechanism of uptake here is receptor binding to somatostatin receptor subtype 2. And the um, applications for this study is neuroendocrine tumor diagnosis and staging, localization of unknown primary, and before and after peptide receptor radionuclide therapy using high dose of lutetium-177 dorotate. Normally, we see uptake in the pituitary, spleen more intense than the liver, adrenals, urinary tract excretion, and some faint activity in the thyroid, salivary glands, and the GI tract. The next PET scan that we are going to review is F18 uh, PSMA. It can also be performed using gallium 68. Here's a normal distribution of the tracer showing characteristic uptake in the lacrimal glands bilaterally followed by salivary glands, faint uptake in the liver and spleen, and also excretion from the kidneys into the bladder. So we want to use a PSMA ligand. It could be one of these several uh, choices that we have, gallium 68 PSMA 11, F18 um, DCF PYL, and also F18 PSMA 
1007. The half-life of gallium-68 is 68 minutes. The half-life of F18 is 110 minutes. The mechanism of uptake of this radiopharmaceutical is binding to PSMA or prostate-specific membrane antigen and the dose is 10 millicuries. After the injection, we wait for 60 minutes before image acquisition. This is used for prostate cancer staging and restaging. We see physiologic uptake in the lacrimal salivary glands, urinary excretion is seen, along with faint activity in the liver and spleen. False positives can be seen with other cancers. PSMA is not specific to prostate cancer. Also, there can be uptake in degenerative change and in fractures. False negatives can be seen in prostate cancers which, are, which don't express PSMA receptors, which account for about 10% of prostate cancers. And lastly, we are going to talk about FAPI PET. FAPI stands for fibroblast activator protein inhibitor. It's labeled with F18 um, and it can also be labeled with gallium 68. The half-life of F18 is 110 minutes. Gallium 68 half-life is 68 minutes. The mechanism of uptake of FAPI is receptor binding. There are FAP receptors or fibroblast activation protein receptors on cancer-associated fibroblasts in tumor stroma. And so that's where this radiopharmaceutical is going to go and bind. The dose is 10 millicuries injected IV and the um, uptake time uh, is about 60 minutes. Physiologic uptake is seen in the soft tissues, excretion from the kidneys, and faint uptake can be seen in the uterus, salivary glands. True positives are seen in breast cancers, pancreatic cancers, GI malignancies, lung cancers or sarcomas. False positives can be uh, seen with renal excretion and focal activity in the um, ureters, um, wound healing and normal breast tissue and sometimes normal muscle uptake. Thank you for watching.